Good evening, ladies as well as gentlemen. I'm Papa Boris, and today I'm going to play a game called Coin Crypt. This is available through early access on Steam. If you don't know what that is, it's basically where companies or people make a game available in its alpha state for purchase. That usually means it sucks total balls, but I saw Northern Line playing this on his channel. It looked really good. I got it, and I gotta say, it was $5 very well spent. I'm extremely excited to see how this game develops from here. So, what this is, is a roguelike in the sense that once you die, it's all over and you have to start over and you try to make it as far as you can. Now, you have a character that you can play as. Lots of different characters are, are in this game to choose from. You start with just one and you unlock them pretty quickly as you go. For the first run here, I'm just going to be the adventurer, which is the standard class that's totally balanced. And I gotta say, it's pretty cool. The different classes are wildly different, so there's a lot of incentive to keep on playing to unlock them all because they play completely differently. I'm gonna make videos after this one to show you some of the rather dramatically different uh, variations in gameplay from the different classes. So let's go ahead and start the game. You walk around with the keyboard, but you do have to use the mouse to play the game. The main gimmick of this game is that you fight with coins. Like here's a hit four coin, I'm gonna hit this person with it. And when you use a coin, it's actually gone forever, so you don't get it back at the end of the battle. And in fact, if you run out of coins, you lose the game. If coins are in a stack like they are here, then you actually use them both, and I don't and, and like their effect is doubled. I don't really want to use both of these coins though against this dude because they're gone forever if I do. So I just let him hit me a whole bunch of times, and if if the enemy runs out of coins, he loses and you win the battle. Here is a chest. When you find a chest, you can only take a finite number of things from it, and the chest will usually have a lot more than that. So here I can only take five coins, while the chest has a bunch. I'm gonna go ahead and take a key. Keys let you unlock things. I'm gonna take a bunch of attack things, and let's take a heal here, in case I end up taking some damage. So there's two ways you can lose the game. You can either run out of hit points, like I'm at six out of 10 right now, or you can run out of coins. At any time, you can open up your bag to see what coins you currently have. That helps you plan out your strategy. And um, it's important, you know, not only to keep your life high, but also to keep your coin total high. Uh, let's go ahead and take some more attack coins. Now the combat is real time. When you hover over a coin, you can see in the upper right hand corner, a number inside of a targeting cross here. That's like how long it, the casting time of the coin is. So it takes like two seconds or units of time to use one of these hit four coins. Same thing for these heal four coins. Here's another enemy, let's go ahead and fight him. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit him with this triple stack. So notice, he just took 14 damage, because the coins got, all got tripled up. And if you kill an enemy before it uses up all of its coins, you actually just take all the coins that the enemy had at the time that it died, which is really cool. Like, if you've ever played RPGs, and you're just completely sick of the fact that, you know, you kill an enemy in full plate and a broadsword, and then it drops, like, a whatever, emerald ring instead, or nothing, this game is, is very pleasing in that way. Anything that an enemy has at the time that you kill it, you get to take. So, there's two ways, like I said, of beating an enemy. One way is to have it run out of coins, the other way is to actually diminish its HP. But generally, if possible, it is better, well, that's a good coin, hit, hit 4, heal 2, it's generally better to kill an enemy if you can, because that way you get to take all of its remaining coins, and taking more coins helps you live. And because I have a key, I can actually get through this locked wall, I use the key, the key is gone in the process, and I get to find this chest. Here I'll take a bunch of these hit four heal two coins, those, those are pretty great. Now it might seem a little bit facile that I'm taking all of the like attack coins every single time and I'm not taking any other kind of coin, but you really do need to have a lot of attack because if you don't have attacking coins, then what happens is you beat enemies by having them run out of coins against you, and then you don't get any spoils at the end of the battle. It's important to kill the enemy if possible, so that um, when it dies, it still has some coins left over. I just died. <laughs> that was pretty embarrassing. Okay, let's go ahead and try that one more time. So uh, anyway, when you, when you finish uh, a, a game upon death, the game counts up your score here in terms of money, and then you can click on these characters you haven't unlocked yet, and get some progress towards unlocking them. So here, I'm pretty close to getting this guy. Now these might seem like really high money totals to unlock a character, however, um, at the begin it's, it's one of those things, kind of like in Rogue Legacy, where every time you unlock something, it makes all the future things really expensive. So when you actually start to play the game for the first time, it's um, really easy to unlock things, and you unlock them very quickly. Throw some attack coins at this guy. He had a 
quite a few attacking coins left over when I killed them, so I get to collect that as some spoils. Let's grab a key and a shield. So shields, what they do is it's kind of like healing, but, but before it happens. And you can see this shield, if you look on the upper right, there's a zero inside the crosshairs. You can throw this up very quickly. It's faster to generally throw up shields than it is to heal. But of course, healing is necessary to get your hit points back up, otherwise you'll just, you know, be uh, forever damaged. Now I can see that this, this guy has one coin left, and there's really not much reason for me to hit him, because... I'm not gonna get to kill him before he uh, throws this coin at me. So this is an attacking coin. I'll throw up a shield. Oops, I wasn't quite fast enough with that shield. So th there is like a real-time element to the combat. You have to be kind of careful. Very rare. So what these coins are, they don't actually do anything. But you can look in the upper left. Every coin has a value. Like this one's $25. This one's $50. This one's $10. You'll eventually find shops and floors where you can sacrifice coins and other things and so these rare coins that have a really high dollar value but don't do anything let you buy stuff but they don't let you actually do anything else oh this is actually a pretty crappy chest i guess like a bunch of these stealing coins so by stealing a coin from an enemy you get it and you also take the coin away from them which makes it easier for them to die I have actually made it pretty far in this game before, I just uh, really sucked in that first run that I did. Okay, let's take a bunch of these, hit four heal twos, those are really my favorite. Uh, is there anything over here? Note that you don't need to fight all the enemies, you can kind of run around and avoid them, but I do want to get to this chest, so I'm going to go ahead and fight this dude, because it's, it's the first level, it's not that hard. He said right before dying. I right, stole some coins, let's hit him, heal up, and then hit two, there we go. So I got to steal one of his hit twos. It's really cool how when you kill an enemy, you actually see the coins falling. And you know what you're going to get if you're really quick. Now, the combat can get quite complicated. You have to sometimes look at your enemy's statuses. Sometimes enemies, for example, will give themselves a status that they, um, you know, reverse healing and damage. Like if you throw damage at them, it'll actually heal them and stuff like that. So you have to be kind of careful. Let's go ahead and take a shield here just in case. But again, I'm trying to take as much attacking as I can, because if you can get attacks and kill the enemies, then you steal their coins and it helps you last longer. So right now we've got 27 coins. The dollar value below that, that's how much the coins are worth in total. So if I find a shop or something, this tells me how much money I have to work with. I generally am not a big fan of shops, because you lose the coins permanently. And oftentimes the items you get in a shop, well, if we find a shop, we'll see. Um, just aren't quite worth losing all of the coins. Right, I'm actually going to steal these coins from him. So he actually also stole some coins from me. Anyway, we got that taken care of. Got to hit four. Alright, so here's a shop. So I can, like, purchase items here. Get a new hand faster. Cast faster. Thing is, this is, like, almost all of my money. Or a big percentage of my money to get these things. So, like, yeah, it'd be great to have these magic pants that give me more from chests, but... First of all, it's more money than I have, but even if it wasn't, even like this elf hat, casting faster is nifty, but that's like $225 out of $370, I'm gonna have to end up losing a lot of my coins, and they're gone, and then like you're closer to dying because of that. Now, there are these statues here, I actually don't know what those deities do, but you can give them coins if you wish. Ah, I was thinking I can maybe avoid that monster. It was not to be, however. So as you can see, the monsters have different graphics. The different ones do different things. This guy, holy cow, he had a bunch of these hit sixes. Um, and he actually hit me for six. So I like the verisimilitude where, you know, you actually see what the enemies are doing. I just threw up a shield there because I'm close to dead. And then I stole some coins from him, which caused me to die because that was all the coins that he had. I'm just hoping we could avoid that ghost. Alright, let's, let's hit four heal too. Let's do that again. I'm poisoned right now. Now, status effects are kind of interesting. Notice the battle's over, but I still have the status on me. Um, if you wait on the world map long enough, the status will go away without hurting you. Like, I'm not losing health from this hurts over time thing, but if I were to enter into combat with someone, the status would be here. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go here. I have, like, an unlock secret stuff key, so I'm going to unlock this we actually get to go down this ladder so what we're doing here is we're wandering around the dungeon and the interesting thing about these places is that typically the coins you get as rewards are just the money coins like the rare coins that uh, are worth a lot of money but don't actually do anything all right so we kill that guy 
hit too slow. I mean, this is a good coin. It's really, really strong because it slows down their casting times, but still deals some damage. And, and it has a one second casting, so it's really nice. And then we have a boost speed. I don't like this coin. Maybe, like, when you get really good at this game, you realize why this is useful. But notice the casting time on this is three. And then it makes me faster, but I don't know. It seems like it's not worth it. And this floor here, what you can do is you can actually throw coins into the floor. And I will do this. I'm going to put some, some dumb stuff here. I don't want this boost speed. And boost damage, actually, that could be okay. We'll hang on to that. Right. Yeah, all the other coins I have are pretty good right now. So we'll just put in the, the boost speed coin for 30 bucks. And then it healed me up all the way up to full there. So yeah, we got these very rare coins. Now the issue is this is money, so that's good. It'll maybe let me buy something from a shop later. But the problem is that you can't use those coins in combat. So now if I fight, I might start drawing these rare coins that I can't actually spend. Okay, that should hit them in one blow. Notice th these hit fours, when, I, when, they, when they stacked, and you click on the stack, it sends the whole thing, but it doesn't just like add them up. It adds like a little bonus. Like a couple of these hit fours will hit the opponent for nine damage, not for eight. That's pretty good lock of coins, except for the boost speed, which I don't like very much. So yeah, these are the, these areas that you get to by, by using a secret stuff key, they give you lots of these rare coins, and so if you can then find a shop above ground to spend the coins on, you're in really good shape. Oh man, he's gonna get murdered. I just hit him for 13. And it's okay, I, don't, I didn't mind using those two big attacking coins, because by killing him faster, I got more... Uh, coins since he, he got to use fewer coins against me. I stole them all from him when he died uh, See, There's a rare coin that I had in my hand that I couldn't use Because it's just money I'm poisoned So it's, it's I think to play optimally you really should wait for this poison to finish I'm gonna keep on walking until I see an enemy though and... Oh, am I done? Oh good. I'm done. Okay, so we go down the ladder and then it takes you to the next level so this, this is level 2-1. This is not a fancy place. This is just a, a new zone that I'm in now. And there's actually a shop over here. So I'm going to check this shop out right now. See what I can get. What do we have here? A run faster. Can store... I don't actually know how this works. I've never used that. I do love these magic pants. Draw more coins. Okay, we're going to go for the magic pants. I like to get more from chests. So let's see what I have. I have the five of these. So that's 250. And I have six of these. And again, throwing those away doesn't make any difference because they're just money. They don't do anything else for me. I need another 60 gold. Well, I don't like these boost speeds very much. So I just need 30 gold. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'm okay with throwing that away. Let's get rid of steel coins. Stealing one coin I don't think is all that useful. And we just need uh, five more. That's unfortunate. Well, let's throw one of these little shields. That's fine. So we're going to buy the magic pants. And I, I threw away a bunch of my coins to get those pants, but it's okay because the coins that I got rid of were just money coins. They didn't actually do anything in combat. Let's put up a shield. Hit this guy. Oh, he's, actually, he's only got two coins here. I don't know. Oh, he's, he's gonna steal stuff from me. Ah, oh, okay. I'll poison this bitch. And hit him for four. Oh, he healed up. Okay, whatever. That, that was fine. Did I actually get a coin from him? I got a poison coin. I think he stole that from me, though, actually. So now, because of my magic pants, I can take three coins from this chest. One thing I've noticed that's kind of interesting about this game is as you go along, the coins you find aren't necessarily better. They, they are weirder. I was hoping to get to that chest before the enemy got to me. They're, they're weirder, but they're not necessarily better. Now this this dude, you get, he just he just used a coin that dealt four damage to himself. The thing about that is that if you kill him and he still has those coins on him, you end up uh, taking those coins into your inventory, which really sucks. So I'm actually gonna let him hit my shield. The shield's already there. Might as well let him use it. And I want to see what other coin he has, because I don't necessarily want to kill this guy if he's going to give me those stupid deal 4 damage to himself coins. What is this? Oh, it's an actual attack coin. Okay, so I'm just going to hit him before he can kill me. Oh, yeah, one of them. Oh, I hate these. Hit 4 to self. So you don't have to use them in combat. You can throw them away to stores or to, like, gods. But then, since they're negative money, you also have to put in a real coin for the, th for the like, thing it takes money to accept your bad one. So you can see here we have and hit two enemy drops a coin. I don't actually want the enemy to drop coins. I want the enemy to keep the coins. Heal two to six. Heal ten. Gain cursed coin. Don't really want that. Steal a coin. And for for casting time two, stealing coins kind of sucky. You get a huge shield, but you're slow. All right. Luckily we have a couple of hits. That's good. I guess I'll take those because the other coins are just sort of weird here. 
I don't, I don't want, like, coins with drawbacks at the moment. It's too early in the game, I think, to do such things. Okay, so you can see this run is going a lot better than the first one that I that we had. Is this another one of those cursed guys? It is totally one of those cursed guys. He has eight coins, oh god. Now you can redraw if your hand sucks. Like, I just had a whole bunch of healing there. That seemed kind of silly. So he's gonna hurt himself with this coin. So I don't need to worry about that. Let's heal two. Heal four. That's a little bit of a waste. He just killed himself with his cursed coins, but then I'm getting two more of those things. Okay. Getting some hit coins. That's pretty nice. Can I get the chest? Oh, I like to get the chest before fighting. Let's hit for two. Hit four, heal two. That's good. Hit four to self, no thanks. That would be a waste. Oh, this is good. Alright, oh, so I have a failure effect where I can act, my coins can actually fail sometimes. Yep, so the coin failed. Right, please. Okay, he actually ran out of coins. That sucked. Alright, um, we got a bunch of hit coins, that's fine. Alright, before I fight that enemy, I don't actually want... I don't want this coin fail sometimes effect to be here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to this god statue. And I'm gonna give him my cursed coins. Unfortunately, I'm, I can't give him negative 30, so I need to give him something real. Uh, to compensate for it. Let's get rid of this poison. Poison's kinda crappy. Boost damage? I don't know, you know, this is boost damage. I can't give him zero, can I? Ugh. I will give him poison. So I got rid of my cursed coins. So I don't have the uh, stupid four damage to self stuff clogging my hand. Oh, there's another deity here. Yeah, I don't know what these deities do. No idea what they do. I, I'm still damaged, but I'm impatient, so I'm just gonna go into battle. Okay, let's regenerate HP. That seems like a good thing to do. Two. Oh he, oh, he has reverses hit and heal. Oh, God. So I don't actually want to hit him right now because it's just going to heal him. So I need to wait for his status to end. You can find uh, statuses eventually that... Or coins eventually that will clear enemy statuses. But I don't have any of those yet. I don't like these. Hit or heal four. I really don't like those at all. I mean, sometimes it's kind of nice if you're damaged and want to damage the opponent. You, know, you don't care which one you get, but it's otherwise kind of annoying. All right. Get this coin here. Slightly boost damage. Hmm. I think I'd rather just some, some more healing. I think this is like, is this another one of those cursed guys? It is a cursed guy. Uh, okay. Wow, he's throwing a cursed coin on himself. So it is. There's a little bit of a skill element in this combat. You want to look and see what the opponent's doing. I'd, I'd much rather have him hit himself with that cursed coin than kill him and then have that cursed coin go to me. Okay, that's another cursed coin. So he's just about to kill himself. These things basically just suicide themselves against you. And he actually had his attack coins left over after killing himself, so I was able to take those. Is this an actual chest? That is a gigantic chest, oh my god. Well, this chest has some bunch of crap here. Oh, hit two increases stack chance. All right, that's cool. Hit two, that's great. Oh, this is, okay, never mind. This is fine, I don't wanna hit two slow self, that's a bit silly. I don't wanna make enemies drop coins. All right, we're gonna take these, I guess, rather than just heals, I have plenty of heals already. That was a really nice chest. I don't think I've ever seen a chest that big. Alright, hit two slow enemy, that's nice. Kinda of wasting the heal on that one there, that's fine, let's shield up. Hit two increases stack chance, we'll just, we'll just kill him. Boom. What we got here. Poison and enemy attacks may fail. This is, uh, this is one of those things, that, look at the casting time three. It's like a super high casting time, but man, is it annoying when the enemy pulls it off against you. I think this is another one of those shadow dudes. Uh, okay. Hurts over time. Right, he's actually hitting me. Oh, that's unfortunate. I got this healing coin ready after I get hit. I know he's got those first coins though. So, yeah, so he's just, I'm just gonna let him hit himself. And then you can see this is this this timer clock is ticking. Actually, I'm gonna let me shield up against this damage over time. Is this shit hitting me? No! Oh, I caused him to drop his cursed coin. That was a pro play right there. Oh man, okay, that was great. Uh, we have another thing going down. I think I will go in there. But first, let's check out this chest. Uh, let's take some hits. I think I have enough healing. I should be okay. It's another one of these cursed guys. All right, let's heal for four. That's good. He's gonna hit me. Actually, this guy's a lot of health and a lot of coins. Okay, here's a hit four or heal four. I healed myself with it. Let's shield up. Let's slow this guy down. Hit him for six, and he should be dead. Oh god, he had a bunch of these cursed coins. Four of them. Ugh. 
Uh, gonna have to just deal. I don't want to go to the shop. I don't have any, like, coins that I can buy stuff with or anything. Drops a coin. You know, I could use this, actually, against those cursed guys. Maybe that's, like, the next level strategy is to have them drop their cursed coins so that you don't get them when you when the battle ends. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I don't want to hit for self. No, thank you. Please die. Oh, goodness, he died. He had steal two, drop one. Yeah, I'm glad he didn't get to hit me with those. I think we could use some healing, actually. And instead of going to the next level, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop down, actually, to that down that ladder. I wouldn't mind getting some rare coins because I feel like that's the only way you can really make the shop viable. I feel, and I'm not, I'm not an expert, I've never beaten this game, but it feels to me like using coins that you can attack with to buy stuff at the shop is just bad. Okay. I'm actually gonna try to avoid the battles here if I can. You don't have to fight the enemies. Um, and sometimes it's worth it to avoid them. Alright, he actually has a big shield. He has 12 shield here. Increased stack chance. Okay, really highly increased stack chance. Now I'm almost dead! Oh no! Oh no. I need to be very careful. In my next battle, I need to like heal myself ASAP. Or drop a shield. Wait, what do I have? Draws more stacks, draws more stacks. Okay, so I'm drawing more stacks. I need healing and shields. Uh, that's not either one. Uh oh. Please heal me. Oh, I hit him. Hmm, what is this? Enemy attacks may fail, poison enemy, what is this? Okay, I cannot go into another battle until this expires, so I apologize. I am going to need to wait for this to go away because uh, this is hurting me over time and I'm only at two hit points. So you can see this depletes sort of slowly. The numbers here don't really have much bearing on anything. But while that's doing that, let's take a look at our bag. Actually, it pauses the game, doesn't it? The game is paused when your bag is open, so I was thinking we could like do an inventory of our coins while waiting for this status to go away. If there's not a chest in this room, I'm totally going to try to avoid this battle. I think that's part of the strategy is, you know, running around the map and trying to pick your battles. Oh god, he can, he can actually see me now. Sometimes you can lead an enemy into an open room and then escape it. What is- oh, it's a floor! It's a healing floor! Oh gosh, I want the healing floor. Okay. Let's get, let's get rid of these cursed coins. And you know what, let's just pop in like, one of these rare coins and um, some of these... I don't know how much money you have to give exactly for how much healing, but that gave me pretty full health. Okay, that was good. I'm happy with that. Let's check out here. Oh no, I gotta let myself get trapped in the corridor by that thing. Uh, sucks. Yeah, if you're in a corridor, you can't escape the battle. So there's a rare coin. I don't really want to... Shield! And oh, that guy's gonna get hit. That's a little bit of overkill there. I hit him for 14 and used a bunch of coins, but it was worth it to get the battle to end. He drops kind of crappy coins, the fail coins and the uh, poison coins are not the greatest. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually lure this guy, or try to lure this guy. Try to lure this guy into this open room. Come on, come after me, boy. Come at me, bro. Eee ah, I was gonna run away. Well, I think this guy is stealing coins. I get the feeling. Okay, good. These, yeah, steal two, drop one, yeah. He, he has very few coins to start with, but his coins let him steal your coins. Okay, that's the way down. Let's take a look and see if there's a free chest maybe over here. Mm, there's a fight for a chest. I will I will do the fight. Hopefully this doesn't kill me. So let's heal up. Oh my gosh, 20? Oh, jeez. That sucks. That has so much health. Let's shield. Poison him. Over time. Enemy attacks may fail. Well, you know what? Might be the time. Okay, he's actually running pretty low on coins. Let's actually steal two of his coins. Oh, I can actually kill him and get one of his coins there. It's the hit two that I used to kill him. All right. We get. Oh, I'm glad I went down here. That's two hundred dollars I just got from that chest. So hopefully we find a shop really soon. You can see I have a lot of money but not very many coins. I really want to find a shop so I can actually buy an item with those rare coins and not have them busting up my mojo. So here's level three. I definitely want to attack coins. Ah, that's all I can take, actually. Okay, so that guy, I'm gonna try to lure him down this side of the hallway a little bit. Can you please be lured? Lure! Yeah, nope, yeah, lured, ah, oh, jeez. It's like he's really trying to guard the choke point. I can see a shop up there, there it is. This is what I wanted to have happen. So now I get him stuck down there. We avoid the battle, and I'm just gonna go straight over to this shop. Helps find the exit, eh, get a new hand faster. I don't know how much that matters. Draw more stacks. I don't actually know what that means. 
Still don't even know how this coin pouch, storing a coin for quick use works. Well, let's try it, let's try it. The other ones aren't that inspiring, so we're just gonna get eight of these rare coins in and buy a coin pouch. Okay, so how do I actually use the coin pouch? One might wonder. I don't see it here. Hmm. Now how many, I have a rare coin and seven of these is 140 plus 50 is 190. Uh, I could sell these steel coins. But other than that, I kind, of, I kind of like all my coins. I am not gonna purchase another item. Let's keep on trucking. Get the chest. Get some shields. All right, I'll click here to store coin. What? Okay. Oh man. Okay, so I just stored a shield coin. I thought that was actually worth it. Stole a bunch of his stuff. He's got a sh big shield. Heals a little bit. He's always gonna, he's gonna steal from me. Oh, damn it. Okay, so clearly we're not gonna win this by attrition. So I got a handful of rare coins. Let's some. Let's just let him run out, I guess. Oh, yeah, poison killed him. Okay. So I redrew when I had a handful of rare coins. You can see I'm down to 17 coins. I'm getting pretty low. It's a good thing I've got these magic pants to let me get more from every chest. I'm gonna try to avoid the battles now. Okay, I can't avoid that one. Oh, what? That looks scary. Okay, I'll use my shield that I stored. I want to store a heal for the future. Okay, I kind of like this coin pouch. Any attacks may fail. That seems pretty good. Oh, he's giving me stuff? Crap. He, I think he just gave me a bunch of coins. He gave me a bunch of crap, didn't he? Minus one XP for each health. Okay, thanks. Give a coin. Oh, God. Um, okay. Oh, I don't want to quit. Let's go to the god statue. We're going to give that away, give that away. An enemy drops three coins. Yeah, let's just give that away as well. Uh, okay. I am running low on coins. Oh, no, I don't want this stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna take some of these drop coins. I'm gonna take them in case we find those enemies that are just like cursed and like just give you stupid stuff. I don't think this is a cursed enemy though. This is just like a normal dude. Enemy attacks may fail. What is that? Why am I not doing things? Let's heal up with my stored coin. Just drop a coin. Have him drop a coin. Why did I have him drop a coin? There was no point for that. He just stole my stuff. Hey, no, stop. Oh god. Poisoned, I'm dying. Why do I keep- Oh, I'm running out of coins. Man, things- People stole so many coins from me. I actually, uh, am like running low on coins and I'm gonna die soon. Alright, chest, help me, please. What is this? Heal 4, drop a different coin. Heal 10. Oh, what is going on here? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do this. I'm gonna take these steal coins and double use next coin. So I'm gonna try to steal coins from my enemies. I think that's the only way I can survive here. Otherwise, I don't know how things got so bad so fast. They definitely did. Oh, drops a coin. Okay, we're gonna avoid that fight. Am I gonna be able to run by? Yep. Level 3-2, baby! Okay. Um, I'm low on health, so I'm gonna take shield. But I need to be able to attack things as well. Floor, I don't have anything to give. Actually, I do have things to give away to the floor. Oh, gee, no, 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 I'm fighting a thing. I'm fighting a cursed thing. Oh, God, this is bad. Um, so steal one of his coins. I don't want to steal his coins. He has bad coins. This, this is the thing that just gives. This is the, just the asshole that just gives coins away. And you have a bag full of crappy coins. Okay, minus one HP for each health. Yeah, that, let's, not, let's, let's not lose maximum hit points. Let's not give coins away. I'm gonna give away all these rare coins. Heal up. So you can see this is quite interesting with the, the, the weird sort of cursed enemies making combat. Not just a matter of attacking things to death, but you really have to do some thinking. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and store a coin dropper in case we find more of those cursed enemies. Let's go ahead and steal one of my opponent's coins. Shield up. Steal two. And okay. Poisons everyone? What is this? Poisons. I don't want poisons everyone. That's stupid. Alright, let's get rid of poisons everyone. Hopefully, the god is. Pleased by this. Looney seems pleased. Okay. I'm actually poisoned twice. So I really shouldn't get into any combat until that is done. Is that a big chest? Okay. So you can see these coins are like really just um weird. Weird coins here. 
Let's take some healing. And we seem to be fighting a lot of the cursed guys, so actually having things drop coins would be the worst thing. We're not gonna fight that thing. I don't know what that is. It looks like a broom handle. Do I have any keys? I don't have any keys, so I can't get to that chest. Just running around. And you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna go to the next level. We're not gonna go back up there and explore. Let's just get as far as we can in this first video before we call it a dibbity dizzle day. That is 100% guaranteed a cursed enemy. I don't want to steal his coins. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. There's just nothing. I'm just going to get a whole bunch of crap. Uh, yeah, he just gave me everything. And I, I actually, I lost a maximum hit point. You see this? I'm at nine now. Somehow he, he made me lose a hit point. Let's take some please. attacking points. This is land. I don't know if this, it, this always happens, but I am just like finding nothing but cursed guys. Oh, that would be great. That's a huge chest. Okay, steal a coin. Attack. I'm poisoned. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I can't heal. I was killed by a witch. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and see who this guy is. I actually am going to unlock him. Alright, what is this? Can redraw coins instantly, but coins don't stack. Ooh, that's actually really interesting. I am very intrigued by this. Uh, I don't know what the difference is. Oh, let's try this lady. You can see it was like 4,400 to unlock the previous one, but now it's 6840. Still though, as long as you keep playing, you don't have to be great. If you just, you know, keep playing, eventually you'll you'll unlock all the things. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back soon with some more Coin Crypt videos, showing you off, showing showing off some of the different classes and how they play dramatically differently. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again soon.